The Bible lies at the forefront of the history of Western civilization. This exhibition shows that the Bible was an iconic text, an inspiration to artists of all kinds, monuments of history, masterpieces in different artistic mediums. This exhibition is a cross-section of the best of the best in the art of the book. Morgan's Bible's Splendor in Scripture is a sample of some of the Morgan's greatest examples of Bibles from the very earliest time through to the 17th century. This was his principal ambition as a book collector, and as he grew in means and stature and experience, he was able to acquire some of the very greatest examples on the market, and now they're at the Morgan Library Museum. In a way, it's a story of connoisseurship as reflected in one genre, Bibles. One of the attractions is the amazing breadth of this exhibition. Printed books, illuminated manuscripts, master drawings. You'll see Rembrandt prints depicting the stories of Christ. You'll see ancient Akkadian tablet depicting the flood story. And you'll see the ways that these art forms are interconnected through the biblical tradition of scripture. For Morgan, this was a very personal and lifelong ambition. He's very well known as a financier, but many people are less familiar with Morgan's religious side. He was a pillar of the Episcopal Church. He was very active in church affairs. Here was a rationale for connecting his strong religious convictions with his collecting spirit. Morgan collected in quality. It could be the binding, it could be the illustration, annotations, inscriptions, provenance. There had to be something special. The Morgan is the only institution in the world to have three Gutenberg Bibles. We show one of them which exemplifies Morgan's fascination with special attributes. You can actually see the compositors marking up that copy of the Bible to print the next one. Craftsmanship plays such an important role throughout this exhibition. Objects of the decorative arts to the book arts. And on display here, one will see the pinnacle of excellence in each example of craft that's featured in the show. Lavish display of gold in treasure bindings. There's the famous golden gospels of Henry VIII written with gilt letters on purple parchment. You can't get more splendid than that. Time and time again in this exhibition, you will see a Bible story, biblical theme expressed in text, but then also visualized by an artist. The Morgan is one of the few places that can actually show that artistic process. The Bible still has a huge impact on the way that we understand and see the world. In telling the story of how the scripture has migrated from one format to another, from printing to the decorative arts, from decorative arts to fine arts, this exhibition will help us to unpack and understand those stories better and how they're transferred over time.